Hello my friends, welcome to our channel. As you know, we have a couple of videos where we meet different reactors to Dimash. And today we will try to start the same video here, but in English language. First of all, I want to apologize for my English skills, because I'm Russian. So it means that today you will hear many different variations of English accents and many, many minor mistakes. So please forgive me for that. If you can, I promise I will try to make my pronunciation better for the next videos. So, let me speak from my heart. Друзья, знаю, что не все из нас могут понимать английский язык. Поэтому мы сделали субтитры на удобном для вас языке. Для этого достаточно просто найти кнопку настроек. Обычно она вот здесь вот под видео. Приятного просмотра! And one more thing I have to say. I'm not a musician, I'm just a sportsman. I cannot judge singers and vocal coaches as a musician, but... I can say that I've seen hundreds or thousands reactions, so I'm a kind of expert in reactions to Dimash. It was always very interesting. Who are they? Are they real vocal coaches or just fake vocal coaches like Bernie Sanders, for example? How did they meet Dimash? And, uh, and also, what about their vocal skills? Uh, do they learn something from Dimash? Have they changed their study programs after they met Dimash? So let's try to demystify. Dem let's try. So let's try to understand who is who. And today I have a surprise for you because today we will talk about Russian-speaking directors. They are singers, musicians, and uh, coach. So I'm excited. It's going to be very interesting. So let's go. And we will start from our friend Dmitry Lebedev. He is a vocal coach and he is real professional. Actually, we are friends uh, with Dmitry and I called him, asked uh, about if he has anything he wants to share about his uh, music experience. And, uh, and I will share this information with you. He was born in Kastanay. Um, I guess you don't know where it is. And let me show you, my friends. It's great that due to high technologies we can just sitting on the sofa go so far away like thousand kilometers from home and walk around. So let's go to Kastanay. Seems like I have to download some applications before we start. And while we are waiting, he was born in Kastanay. And even when he was a child, he started to make covers to Alo Bogachova and Sofia Rataru. So his parents could understand that he likes music. And when he was 13, he got a neighborhood that was a musician and he brought him to the music school. So that's how Dmitry started to learn music. And uh, he was very active at studying because uh, he started when he was 13, it's uh, like too late to start studying in a music school but he finished two studying years just in one and then uh, when he was 15 he went to music college and he was accepted and finished it after four years and then he went to university so he has a high degree in music he's real professional and even when he studied in university he started to appear in philharmonic and my friends we already can say that he is a real professional he is a real musician with a real experience behind his back after university he became a choir conductor and also voice teacher and also professional boy and performer as Dmitry said to me, he studied not only music, not only musical instruments, and not only singing, and not only vocal techniques. He studied uh, also philosophy of music, its history, and many different important things. Actually, we can see this difference when we talk about professional singers and amateur singers and uh, professional singer. It means that you know something special, something more than just uh, a regular singer. That's why I know many, many of you respect his reactions and his comments to Dimash performances. Dmitry studied in uh, St. Petersburg also. Uh, it was uh, St. Petersburg Christian University. And he studied not music, but philosophy. When he studied in, uh, in St. Petersburg, he performed uh, with an ensemble. And he went to England with their performance. I hope this information will add some colors and brightness to his reactions. So my friends, don't forget to subscribe to his channel and 
always don't forget to push a like button. Now I see the download is ready and we can visit Dmitry Motherland Kastanay. So here it is, uh, not so far away, 21 day and 16 hours by walk, it's quite near. Would you like to walk around uh, Kastanay streets? Snow Godam. Happy New Year. It's, it is the main square. Actually, it, it looks very similar to to uh, every Russian uh, city, uh, almost the same. Cars are the same, the weather is the same, people are the same. Here is a place you can visit if you come to Kastanay. It's kind of military museum, different Russian tanks. Actually, it's not so far from the border. The nearest city is Chelyabinsk. Uh, we know that people from Chelyabinsk, they are very serious. Just the most serious people in the world. They never smile at all. But it's in Chelyabinsk. And we know that Dmitry is very smiley. And we also know that sometimes he lives in the uh, United States. He uses his smile very often than uh, just a regular people from this area. Actually, we are dreaming to visit Kazakhstan. Here is October Dimash came from this area. In in last video, we talked about uh, Ken Templin, and he was really amazed that Dimash came from Kazakhstan, from October. Uh, he even couldn't realize that in places uh, that located far away from New York, from United States, that there are high quality music universities and uh, and actually not only Dimash is a very good example, Dimash just open its door and help us to discover so many interesting people from Kazakhstan. And now we know that if you want to get high class professional education, you have to think about moving to Kazakhstan. And now I got an idea that why don't you spend few years in uh, and study cinematography in uh, Kazakhstan? Quite good idea. Maybe in the future, let's see. So let's go on. So let's go to Dmitry channel and he has many different videos about Dimash and he makes a kind of marks how to sing uh, where he has to make an accent so I'm sorry. So my friends, as you can see, he is very good at singing, real professional. I got an idea, why don't we send Sasha to study singing to Dmitry Lebedev. If you don't know, Sasha is studying how to sing. You can check how far Sasha went if you use the link in the description. So my friends, uh, Dmitry, he is a real professional, he sings very very well, he has high degree in uh, music, so if you want to see very professional reactions, uh, you can follow Dmitry's channel, and he also has many new interesting videos, I will put link in the description, so you can enjoy his professional reactions. We can go ahead and next uh, singer is uh, Tanya Levy, she is one of my favorite vocal coaches that make reactions to Dimash, so let's go to her channel. So this is Tanya Levy Vocal Studio channel and uh, I can say that she lives in Germany but she can speak Russian because uh, her mother, she's a Russian. Three things that professional singers do and I'm going to reveal the secrets right now in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Tanya Levy. I'm a vocal coach from Germany living here with my studio in Singapore and I help you to hashtag web... Oh, she's... Looks like she's in Singapore now. Uh, 
Here is a new update for you, my friends. She is not in Germany. She is in Singapore. By Whitney Houston or Mariah Carey, where you have to whistle and you have to sing. <laughs> Rockmusik durch die Nacht. Hier ist Tania Levi. Yeah. Oh, she, she is like a star, like a German star. Seems like I know the song. Uh, if you know, there is a Russian uh, band Tattoo, and it sounds very similar to them. <laughs> something, something strange is going on. Chen Chen. Actually, I told you that she's from Germany, but it's not true at all. She is. Uh, looks like she moved to Singapore two years ago. Waiting for our food. It's a food court in Lucky Plaza, so it looks much more better than the usual. Um, European Western influences meet Chinese nation. And I was applying for jobs. I haven't speak about to not choose a song where you are going to sing through that song. That is a It's not a secret. You have just if you want to sing good, you have to practice. If you want to play, if you want to play football good, you have to practice. Also, there is a secret that uh, you can just do nothing and get higher results. <laughs> But anyway, as I thought, you always have to work hard. If you want to get anything you want. I decided I will make a, a live watch concert with Dimas because I feel this is crazy. So check out this and other reactions uh, on your channel. Police investigations are ongoing. Whoever or whatever that is, we are all in danger. my opinions on air. It's my job to... For what? To fool them for a few days and to thinking they have a real father and then like all of a sudden you are... No, Richard, you know what defines a real father is what he does and not what he's promising, okay? Oh, she's a, she's a good actress. My friends, don't forget to visit the Tana Levy channel and watch all these videos and reactions. She has so many interesting videos, so, so I think if you are not subscribed to her channel, then you can subscribe. Actually, she has a, a lot of uh, videos in English, but today I feel like my mission is to translate from Russian to English for you. I honestly, just try to translate. Oh, my beautiful friends, and well, starts very good beautiful low notes that he embraces beautifully and you can hear a little bit of vibrato там всё содержит свой голос да это тренировка очень крутая тренировка просто so i said it's it's really amazing it's so beautiful how he match here игорь круто он просто молодец сделал просто просто ничего сказать не можно когда он там попадает на эти громадные большие ноты, это я вообще в восторге в шоке. She said that uh, I have just nothing to say because uh, he is a great singer and she is she said that I'm just amazed. Димаш просто 
Димаш, ну, уже путь себе строит, и он не такой, что он не так неизвестный, если он поет на олимпи олимпиадские там игры, и считаю, что многие годы, которые сейчас будет, он только будет побольше, больше звезда. She's talking about Dimash Level, she says that uh, he's already famous, and if he's singing at uh, Olympic Games, his level is only going to grow up. Да, вы хотели, что я говорила по-русски, вот оно, кучеряво и неправильно, но... She said, you wanted me to speak in Russian, so here is it. Uh, it was wrong, but she said, like, uh, curling, curling hairs. My, my, my... My Russian, uh, she said, my Russian language is like curly hair. Зато люблю, что я делаю. Так, выше, на head head voice, как ангел, просто красиво так. She said, uh, when he sings uh, in a high notes, it's like an angel. Другие ноты, low notes. Эти темные ноты просто так круто, 20 килограмм, по -по обещаю. And uh, also she said that uh, dark notes, low notes, it's very beautiful. And uh, and also she promised to drop 20 kilograms. Uh, I know that there was uh, another phrase that probably Dears asked her to delete. <laughs> uh, what she said? She's professional vocal coach and studied theater teacher and former record artist from Universal Music. Universal Music is world famous brand. That's cool. So my friends, don't forget to visit Tanya Levy's channel. She has some videos in English, so I hope you can understand what she talks. So my friends, very interesting channels. I will put links to them in the description so you can subscribe or watch other videos on their channels. And in the end, I want to play with you in one very interesting quiz. Right now you will see a freeze from Dimash performance and you need to write in comments where did I take this freeze. I will choose three winners and they will appear in our next video. Actually we are searching for a sponsorship because we would like to send uh, gifts to our champions but at this moment we can just respect them and uh, share their names to you my friends. So I hope to see you in comments and we will meet in next video. Thank you and goodbye.